Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the big bad world of TikTok. We're gonna to touch on if you're too old to join TikTok, why you should probably be joining TikTok right now, how you can grow your Instagram followers using TikTok, and how difficult it is to get started. Okay, question number one that I'm gonna to put to these five very influential creators is why should people join TikTok right now? And is TikTok a good platform for bloggers to use? Hi, I'm Kyla. Um, I'm a travel writer and travel blogger and my blog is nomlist.com that I do with my best friend Kiki. Um, I started on TikTok about 40 days ago. We do this 30 day TikTok challenge and I did it 40 days ago and now my account is at 35 or something, something like that. It took me years to get to 40,000 on Instagram, like years. So everybody is sitting here like, oh, I don't want to convert to TikTok. I don't, and I get it, right? Because there's so much work that has been put into these other channels that it's a pain to have to leave it behind and start from scratch. But it, it's so much more exponentially fast growth than any other channel that I've seen. So it's not discouraging. It's about to be my biggest social media channel and I've been doing it for like two weeks. And I have every confidence it'll pass 100,000 by latest end of June, but as the growth that it's going, which is like 10,000 a week, like maybe not even that long, like if I keep posting videos and I haven't even been posting daily. So I'm Michael from Switzerland. I'm originally a photographer and later also a travel blogger. And in the quarantine, I explore TikTok. I'm pushing out like 10 videos a day. And I, I have 50,000 followers now since this morning. But okay. at the moment, I'm gaining like 2,000 a day since I started doing this 10 videos a day. Uh, hi, guys. So I'm Chelsea Mars. My handle is Chowdown USA. Um, and I joined TikTok a few months ago, I want to say. And I think now I have 19.6 thousand followers on there, most of which came from one viral TikTok and over a couple days, almost overnight. So I think for a really long time, it was like just the younger demographic. And I think every new platform that comes out, the younger people are on it first. And then like other people start to move on to it. I'm seeing a lot of content on there that's like, oh, 25 and up on TikTok. Like, what are you doing? And 30 and up on TikTok. Like, how are you feeling about it? And they're just being really fun with it. My name is Victoria. I am from Follow Me Away on TikTok. I have, I think, 480,000 followers right now, so I'm just trying to push for that 500,000 mark. And I have been on TikTok since July 2019. And the reason that I got on TikTok was because my friend, his, his TikTok is jake.pnw, Jake Pacific Northwest. And now he is the biggest TikToker in Oregon. So he was posting so much about on his um, Facebook about how he was growing and how he had 1 million followers and how he had 2 million followers. And he's like, everybody needs to get on it. I know it's like so wild. So I tried it and here I am. So I would rather be on there than like just be starting. Cause like I'm never the first ones on the platform. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to catch up. <laughs> I still think we're in the very early stages cause so many people are still coming on. I would say we won't hit that until like maybe the two years from now. Cause people are still starting to explore. Like TikTok hasn't even really released all the features that they're going to release. Like they release new things every month, I guess. I won't say every day, but they release new things quite often. And I think that's, yeah, that's it. There's still much more to come. It's going to be the next big thing. It's already here and uh, more and more brands are going to care about it. I think TikTok could become like Instagram now. I, I think it has the same potential as Instagram. People weren't making big money on Instagram when it started. But if I could take you in a time machine and give you the opportunity to get an Instagram before Instagram became what it is so that you could grow your followers so that now you would be at the million mark, like would you not take that opportunity? And that's essentially where we are with TikTok. Like it's about to launch and you can either be on the initial launch that's going to get you to the million followers or more, or you can join when these people already have a million followers or more and then you're struggling to get 10,000. I missed the Instagram boat at the beginning. I didn't have an iPhone. I was pissed off about it and I regretted it for years afterwards. You have time right now. Why not learn how to do it? Because I think TikTok may be the next Instagram and people are leaving Instagram by droves to go to TikTok and people are sick of Instagram and every social media platform dies. I lived through MySpace dying overnight. First of all, you should join not to miss the boat. Second of all, Facebook started with kids too, not 12 year olds, but it was like college students who are 18 and 19. And that's how a lot of social media starts. The kids use it and then it gets older and older people are joining by droves now. 
Wow, okay, so it turns out you can grow really fast on TikTok. In a few weeks or a few months, some of these creators have 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, up to like half a million followers on TikTok. It's pretty incredible. So a question a lot of people have is, can you actually get Instagram followers from your TikTok? So can you send your TikTok followers onto Instagram where potentially they're more valuable? I have seen them come over to Instagram because it links to Instagram right in your bio. So people usually click on there. And I have seen it send traffic to my site because I have my site listed, things like that, and my books. I have been playing around with linking different things in the bio to see what traffic it drives. Well, actually, the Instagram is now growing again because of TikTok, because that sends like 50 to 100 people every day. I don't really push Instagram with it. When I was starting, I did. And a lot of people thought that I was, other people in the industry thought that I was buying followers because it was getting a lot of followers to um, my secondary account, follow me away travel. And then I eventually told my friend because I wanted her to like, no. And I'm like, it's because of TikTok. And I was putting it at the end, like, come follow us um, on Instagram. And that's something I've really stopped doing just because I'm kind of like annoyed with Instagram. I don't really want to push it. And then I also made a video, a couple of videos about my mom. And in that video, it had showed a screenshot of her Instagram and then she ended up getting a lot of followers from that. I do get a lot of DMS on my secondary account from people that have come from TikTok. So yes and no. So I do like questions and answers in my Instagram stories. And I just use them for my TikToks also. So I just recycle my content. So I gained already like 10,000 Colombian followers, I think. I recommend everybody that has that wants to grow on Instagram and YouTube, I say, go on TikTok. <laughs> it's the well, easiest way. I did see quite a few followers on my Instagram um, when I gained that huge chunk of followers on TikTok. Um, and I do have it in my bio, like, hey, like, come see me on IG too. And I think that's helping, like, traffic go there. Um, so if you make it easy for them, if they like what you're doing on one channel and there's something similar on another one, we'll probably cross over. I also tried something with my presets. I made a video about how I edit my photos and it got like 200,000 views wow. and 1,500 people signed up to my mailing list. 10 bought them, but it was like $200 for one video. And finally, I want to ask these five creators if it was difficult to get started on TikTok and if they have any advice for you guys that are looking to get started today. As far as tips go, I would say don't give up. Um, you may be like, I'm only getting 200 views. It's doing really bad. And then one day you will get a viral video. And that's what happened to me when I was starting. I was literally about to give up because my stuff was doing bad. And I posted like 30 videos and I was doing bad. And I was like, my friend Jake that got me into it's going to be really sad that I gave up because he told me not to give up. So I'm going to post a video. And it was this video of this black church in Iceland. And it got 300,000 views. And I was like, oh my God, I love it. So that's pretty much the relationship that I still have with TikTok. I think it's a really great field right now for somebody who does want to just venture out try something different it's not as high pressure right you don't have to look super stunning you don't have to have the high edited video it could literally just be you sitting in bed eating cheetos like making a joke about something and that could go viral like it's it's nice it's fun regardless of whether they go viral or not so that's yeah. why i like it. i can understand why people don't join because i was the same a few months ago i was like oh, i know tiktok all these dancing kids i mean it's my work social media is part of my work so i just gave it a try and actually i enjoy making videos for it like i really enjoy it i would advise to not spend any time on instagram just spend all the time on tiktok okay. like you will gain more followers on instagram if you spend it on tiktok it's Kind of absurd but the thing is i don't really know why i'm growing but i think you should just try different videos that you enjoy and the ones that work you you do them again i mean what's really interesting and why i think a 30-day challenge commitment is important is because when i first started off posting i got a little bit of traction and then i found the sobriety niche and that started getting some hits but my account wasn't growing and I wasn't passionate about posting about that. And there's like kind of a ceiling there, you know, like people are sick of hearing it over and over and over. And I wanted to quit TikTok maybe about three times during that challenge. I was crying to Kiki like, I hate TikTok. I want to quit. I don't understand. And then finally, like the fifth day to the end of the challenge, I posted I heard from one of the experts we answered the types of videos he was posting, which is informational content. And I tried out a video and it took off and I've just been doing those videos ever since. I think the root of it in social media and in blogs is following your passion. 
And I kind of got lost with that being so busy and like having to do this and that and just the endless to-do list and to have to be there situation. Now I don't have to be anywhere so I could just work on what I love. Wow, there's so much to learn about the big bad world of TikTok. And I know I for one, I'm definitely gonna get started and start posting one or two videos a day. I would love to know your thoughts on TikTok and whether you're thinking of joining or not. If you did like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up below and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and let's grow our social media together.